what sort of tactics are you going to employ? Well, tonight we have to try and uh, basically just go get us a few more points up, but uh, it could get fairly rough because the others don't want to let us, of course. And uh, what will happen then, whether we can just keep it cool and uh, try and just keep gaining points or whether it'll turn into a bit of a... like it normally does, I don't know. Mel Kenyon leads Sleepy Trip and Rich Vogler for the United States. John Wanless leads John Fenton and Gary Rush for Australia. And Barry Butterworth's New Zealand teammates are Ted Tracy and Owen Shaw. Ready for race one. Race one, of course, is race six in the series. Green lights are up, they're away. Butterworth away. Butterworth and Kenyon. Barry Butterworth, car number 21 in the front. Mel Kenyon, then Rich Vogler, then Ted Tracy, John Fenton and Paul. Barry Butterworth, the New Zealand team captain and a real flyer. He has that number 21 on his car by a court ruling. The officialdom of Speedway tried to make him uh, wear number two, but 21 is his lucky number and he now has a court ruling to say that he can use it until such time as another decision is reached. Barry Butterworth leading Mel Kenyon and Rich Vogler from the States in third place. Ted Tracy's got ahead of uh, John Fenton. And that's Kenyon trying to have a go at Butterworth. Not quite. Barry Butterworth round the outside again. Kenyon's got the inside. He's in front. Mel Kenyon from the United States leading Barry Butterworth from New Zealand. Rich Vogler still third. Ted Tracy fourth. So Kenyon's taken over from Butterworth. He won't be happy about that. Barry Butterworth, he's a hard charger. Let's wait and see how long it takes him. To get that lead back again. There's a gap and he's done it. Barry Butterworth back in front. Mel Kenyon second. Pretty rough tactics. This the, the uh, sort of thing we've come to expect at Western Springs, particularly in this intonation series. Barry Butter crunches his own locally. Butterworth. Kenyon. And that's Rich Boga through on Kenyon. And Kenyon back in front again. Kenyon, of course, drives with only one hand. He lost the other in a bad fire. Both racing some years ago. Still Barry Butterworth with that lead for New Zealand. America in second and third. Mal Kenyon and Rich Vogler. And Ted Tracy sitting in fourth place. They finish this way. That gives New Zealand with first and fourth the same points as America with second and third. Points go from first place to ninth starting at 9, 8, 7, 6 and so on. Ted Tracy in fourth place. Barry Butterworth, our race leader, still at this stage and has taken the chequered flag. So Butterworth, Kenyon, Vogler and Tracy in fourth place puts the points to New Zealand 111, the United States 95 and Australia 32. Ready for race two. Race two, which is race seven in the series. There's the points at the start of this race. 111 New Zealand, 95 the United States and Australia, trailing way behind with 32. They're racing in race two. That's Barry Butterworth sitting in second place. About to make it first by the looks of things. John Fenton, number seven, leading. Owen Shaw in there and Mel Kenyon there. Here's Butterworth still in second place, but trying to push John Fenton. Kenyon in third place. John Fenton has been slower to date than either Barry Butterworth or Mel Kenyon. So we'll watch and see how long this order takes to change. Still Fenton holding that lead. And I've just been told, although we haven't seen it with that uh, action at the front, that Rich Vogler has gone over. There's his car. Just can't see if Vogler is injured at this stage. No, he looks fine. So Rich Vogler has flipped. And we will be under yellow flags until we have a restart. And the yellow flags, they continue to trail until such time as they get the green, but they must not change places. They're away again and racing. Rich Vogler is out. So John Fenton still holding that lead from Barry Butterworth, and Butterworth is through. 
Butterworth got through just on the restart. John Fenton from Australia second. And Mel Kenyon in third place. So Butterworth, if he can hold on to this, heading for his second victory in a row, which really puts New Zealand's points up. Harry Butterworth with that characteristic hard charging style. Front inside wheel, well and truly off the ground, through the whole corner at both ends. Really is a ferocious, aggressive driver. New Zealand's Barry Butterworth, the team captain, won the first race. Looks like he might be about to win the second race as well. John Fenton in second place, Mel Kenyon in third place. So New Zealand, Australia, America, first, second, third at this stage. All these cars, Volkswagen car, about 2.3 litres. They're capable of getting from 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in about three seconds. So it gives you some idea of the amazing acceleration they have, and the sort of power they have in these tiny widgets. Something around 200 horsepower. Still Barry Butterworth holding on to that lead. John Fenton still in second. John Fenton in the black car number seven. Butterworth making that lead bigger and bigger. He's really had this race quite easy from that restart. There you can see the gap that Butterworth has over John Fenton in second place, Mel Kenyon in third. And looks like Sleepy Trip in fourth place. In fact, it's Owen Shaw sitting back there for New Zealand, the newcomer to the New Zealand team, but Barry Butterworth well and truly away with that lead. Race two, it's race seven in the series, of course. And that's the checkered flag for Barry Butterworth. John Fenton second from Australia. Mel Kenyon from the United States third. Owen Shaw from New Zealand fourth. Ted Tracy fifth. And Ron Wanless dragging the field at sixth. Wonder how Rich Vogler is. Well, I really don't know. I got a, got hooked with uh, Owen Shaw, and uh, next thing I knew, I was upside down. But uh, I don't think it was anybody's fault. It was just a racing accident. How much damage have you done to the car? Well, we bent uh, both rear t reels and uh, possibly ruined a tire. But other than that, we'll be we'll be back racing and in good shape. You're going to be in the next race, okay? Yeah, that's right. America looks like they're sliding a little further behind now. Well, we're having problems today with me getting knocked out of that race. Uh, I was going real good. I think I was up to fourth or fifth from, from the back. So hopefully we can make it up in the next two races. Best of luck. Thank you, Tony. Barry, that's uh, quite a performance, two races up like that. How are you doing it? Oh, it makes it a little easier when you're starting up the front. Uh, but I'm happy. Uh, my car usually works better late in the night. And, uh, it's been going well early, so we're pretty happy, and uh, Ted and Owen have been, been doing a good job at the back, so we're looking pretty good at the moment. It looks like New Zealand's pulling out even further into the lead at this stage. You're happy about that? Yeah, real happy. Yeah, real happy. So what are you going to do now? You've basically only got to finish the three of you in the next few races to take away the lead. Are you still going to be trying? Oh yes, we'll give it a go, but uh, as you say, we must finish, and uh, but it'll still be a hard race. Is it getting rough out there? No, no, they're behaving themselves quite good tonight, so far. It looks like you've had a little rough ride getting through to the, to the lead there of both those races, flipping a few wheels and things. Are you happy to do that? Well, that's uh, speedway racing and uh, that's a standard in Western Springs. Uh, it's always been a little bit that way and uh, it's, a, it's a contact sport, so yeah. Best of luck, Barry. Thank you. To see that Rich Vogler is okay and we'll be back in the next race. And the point situation at this stage as we start for uh, race three is New Zealand 131, United States 102 and Australia still trailing at